Honestly, I don't even know when the anthem was played. That's kind of what y'all get, though. This video is brought to you by TatumStore.com. TatumStore.com, the Shady Bunch shirt uh, is back and ready to go. So if you want to get the Shady shirt, put in t Shady 20, get 20% off this shirt. We also have it in the hoodie. Uh, the link is in the description section. Like and subscribe to the channel. This shirt's so fire. Like and subscribe to the channel. Hit the bell so you get a notification. Anytime I go live and make a video, make sure you're still subscribed to this channel. Like this video, comment on this video, and share this video. Let's get into this. Ladies and gentlemen, gentlemen, ladies, I have to talk about the women's basketball game, LSU versus Iowa. I never get these girls' names right, but uh, Nick will help me rem remember their names. The biggest controversy that happened yesterday was that, and I say two controversies. One is that Iowa beat LSU when they lost to LSU in the championship last year. So they beat LSU this year, which was kind of like payback. And then the second thing, LSU decided that they were not going to stand out there for the national anthem. My thing is this, man. Let me let me just I'm, – I'm going to give you all my nuanced opinion. Let me show it to you. Let me show you what the coach said, and then I'm going to give my opinions about that. And then we're going to talk about the other elephant in the room, and that is the young girl, Angel Reese, who I think is a phenomenal basketball player, and then Caitlin Clark, who is probably the most prolific female basketball player in women's basketball history. I'm going to talk about the nuance, the controversy, and the difference between those two. But let's first start with the national anthem. I don't care what nobody say. Stevie Wonder can see. They refused to be out there for the national anthem, wrote a film. That's Iowa right there in a the line. Everybody else that's at the game out there. LSU is nowhere to be found. Not on a bench, not over there, not over there. They are nowhere to be found. Now, let me, I'm going to let her talk, and then I'm going to explain to you why I think that she's being disingenuous at best with this. Honestly, I don't even know when the anthem was played. We kind of have a routine where we are on the floor, and then they come off at the 12-minute mark. That's when the anthem. Um, we just, I don't know, and we come in and we do our pregame stuff. Um. I'm sorry. I, I listen. I, that's nothing intentionally done. Now, <laughs> now correct me if I'm wrong. For y'all, for those of you who play women's basketball, well, I play college football, and the coach knows the rundown of every single aspect from start to finish of what the game play is. They know when commercial breaks are. They know when we, we're out on the field. They know when we're not on the field. They know when the national anthem is played. They, they have a rundown of every aspect by the minute of what's happening during the game. Every coach knows this. How did Iowa somehow end up on the, for the national anthem? I'm sure they got a pregame ritual. I'm sure they should, they're supposed to be off the court when LSU was off the court. I, I, I could tell that she's being disingenuous when she go, uh, I don't even know when the national anthem is. There's like this. There's like this. There's like this. Now, let me put this in perspective real quick because some people think she's a raging liberal. From what I heard and from what, you know, things that have been displayed on the news because they were mad at her for uh, Discipline Reese, the things that I heard was she was conservative. When she was at Baylor, she accepted for them to be at the White House. I'm going to say voted for Donald Trump. I don't know if she voted for Donald Trump, but she donated to Republicans, all of that. So let, let's just put that out of the way. I think what she really did was that she's looking up for girls. These black girls don't want to sit out there for the national anthem because they, they got the woke stuff going on. We all know that that's what it is. They don't want to be out there. So a coach, no matter if she's conservative or not, she's going to not make that a distraction in the game. They can go in the locker room, get prepared for the game, come out and play. What you don't want, as a conservative coach or a coach in general, is for them to be out there making a clown show by kneeling and doing all that other stuff in the middle of where everybody can see. Right here, they can have plausible deniability. Well, we didn't know, we didn't know, we didn't know. But if they were out there kneeling, they would know. Now, let's get to the other elephant in the room. Really done. The young lady here. I think she's absolutely incredible as a basketball player. 
I love her energy. I love her tenacity. I love her, her you know, she get in your face. I, I love that. What I don't like is the victim play when you are that type of player. If you throw an elbow, she got a pit. I saw a video the other day. She pulled a girl hair. She got a rebound. She pulled a girl hair. A girl weave almost came out. You doing all of that. You cussing at the coaches. She told the coach, the coach was walking by. She go, watch your mother mouth. I mean, look, I, hey, 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 I played football before. And I ain't been a Christian my whole life. I ain't got no problem with that. But when you're that type of player, dirty player to a certain degree, because she done dirty, pulling somebody's hair is dirty. I don't care how you – I seen her throw an elbow in a girl face. If you're going to play like that, people are going to come for you. If you bragging, you boastful, and you doing this. Now, I know the white girl did it to you first, and you did it back. She deserved it. I, I'm, I'm with you on that one. But when you start doing this, and you're doing this, and you, you got to understand people are going to come after you. And then don't say people are sexualizing you. And I'm going to show you why she's wrong. And I'm going to show you why there's a difference between Iowa and LSU. Let's just keep it honest. It's culture. Roll the clip. I don't really get to stand up for myself. I mean, I have great teammates. I have a great support system. I got my hometown. I got my family that stands up for me. I don't really get to speak out on things just because I just try to ignore. And I just try to stand strong. Like, I've been through so much. I've seen so much. I've been attacked so many times. Death threats. I've been sexualized. I've been threatened. You've been sexualized? I'm going to let her finish. And I've been so many things, and I've stood strong every single time. And I just try to stand strong for my teammates because I don't want them to see me down and, like, not be there for them. So I just want to always just know, like, I'm still a human, like, all this has happened since I won the national championship. And I said the other day, I haven't had peace since then. And it sucks, And but I still wouldn't change. I wouldn't change anything. And I would still sit here and say, like, I'm unapologetically me. I'm going to always leave that mark and be who I am and stand on that. And hopefully the little girls that look up to me, and hopefully I give them some type of inspiration that, you know, hopefully it's not this hard and all the things that come at you. But keep being who you are. Keep waking up every day. Okay, I can't. I can't listen to it no more. I, like, I, I, like, where's her parents at? I, I know when your kids grow old, they have their own personality. She is playing the victim. Let me just explain to you why. Just real quick, okay? Let's go to her social media. Let's go to her social media. <laughs> Oh my God. Y'all gotta stop letting these people manipulate you. They just come after me and I've been through so much. And you got 2.7 million people that love you. 2.7 million people that, that subscribe to your Instagram. What are you saying? People love you. 507,000 likes on this picture, 400,000 likes on this picture, 800,000 likes on a picture. Like, stop trying to sell a lot of these kids. You are celebrity people. Kiss your ashy elbows. You got a few people that don't like you. Everybody love you. Shaquille O'Neal walked you down on the court during your homecoming. You th what is she saying? Then she go, people sexualize me. What? People sexualize you? Now, this is not as sexual. I got some more. But like, girl, you got your body out in the pose. Let's go to the other ones, because these, these are a little more risque. Let's go down here a little bit. A little bit. If people sexualize you, you doing this. You got your own picture. You got your, look at that. She tooting it up. That's, it's more in here. I saw this last year. I tried to see the difference between her and the white girl, and I was like, oh, man, come on, sis. You in here looking real... She in a, in a she not at a beach somewhere. She in a in a in a bathroom. It gets some more in here that's even crazier than that. She got that one. There's some more in here that was super like right here. This is when it get a little. She got a she got a stomach out. She doing all kind of stuff. You, you, that, come on, girl. Come on, girl. You know you kind of like being sexual yourself, doing posing like this. Some of this stuff, you know, not all of it, but she got some stuff in here that's kind of risque. You kind of being sexual. 
And then she got a she got a thing online where she got a wax whole vagina showing, or, or like the print. And then they go, well, the, 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 the white girl, the white girl, they hate you, they love you. The white girl ain't complaining. She only got 1.3 million followers. You got 2.7. And then you look at the white girl page. The one that they say, oh, the black girl, white girl, look at the white girl page. She ain't got nothing that she doing that's sexualized. All this is just basketball. She's dressed like a regular person. She got one here, but that's in context because they're at the beach. She's not in front of a mirror at the house. Look at that. Like, there's not a lot of stuff here. It's just basketball. But she plays the victim and say, they after me. They're trying to get me. They, they, they don't like me. And then let me show you another video and the reason why there's a comparison con contrasting of the two. Look at the locker room shenanigans. Now, look, I'm all for you having fun. We were cutting up in the locker room. But don't get mad if somebody judge you on your actions. Look at Iowa and then look at LSU. The corniest thing I've ever seen. But I hope you understand. Now, they could be listening to gangster music after this. I don't know, but this is what they plan. This is what we see. Now look at LSU. <laughs> Hold on, y'all. Brace yourself. <laughs> you want to talk to You want to run your mouth? You want some bitches to come over? Oh, yeah. We're sexist. 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 we are sexist we are sexist we are now, see, I know Lil Boosie. So I know how ratchet that song is. But you want to play, you, you want to talk, you want to run your mouth. You want some gangsters outside your mother house? We'll set this off. That's the song they sing. God dang. You're you going to show up at somebody's house? But listen, I'm cool with that. If that's what you want to do, but don't play victim. They, they, they sexualizing us. They, they criminalize enough. See, the white team, when the white team come out there, they love them, and then we come, we got to, we gangsters. You singing the most ratchet song in your locker room celebrating the championship. Y'all doing all that. Just, just understand that's what it is. You talking about somebody going to set this off. They singing, I don't know, some twirly song. They roll their hips like this. Y'all talking about gangster stuff. Come on, man. They just stop. Just it's okay. Just stop playing the victim. I just had to throw that out there as well. They should have stood for the national anthem. But man, you can't, look, young lady. Y'all can't just be playing victim all the time. You know, you got a young woman who who is beloved by the world. Everybody love this girl. Two point seven million subscribers. She got more subscribers than I do. And talking about, I've been through a lot. People, death threats. <laughs> man, everybody gets some person threatening them. Girl, you ain't got no legitimate death threat. People love you. You got so much love. People are kissing your butt. 99% of the people on your channel just falling for you. They'll ride for you. You got people pull up. Your reputation cannot be torn. Celebrities come out and defend her. That's not the average person ain't getting that. The white girl at Iowa ain't getting that. There ain't no NBA player walking her down to, to a homecoming. Anyway, I'll see y'all in the next one. Get you one of these shirts. I'm out.